compass points north, taking you far away from civilization as we know it. It is here that we find what is pure and untouched, a remoteness that kindles the imagination of the hunter as there is no end to the adventures that we can have. rugged mountains are the perfect place to let your soul fly to the top of what feels like the entire world. I feel very blessed. Completely pushed out right now. We've been climbing all day. I did so hard. And this bull just kept escaping us. The rewards in the journey, and this has been an unbelievable journey so far. We found him. We got him. We got him. Yeah. We, got him. we found him. We found him. There's two in there for sure that are beauties. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Holy smokes. I know. Wow. These guys look pretty content here. I think so. I think they'll end up bedding there and stay in there for the night. And they might move a little ways over the night, but not far. Well, we have had a long day, 12, 12 hours of hiking, so just set up a tent and get up early and hit the mountain. I think so. I think that's a great plan. At least we got a look at those sheep as they came down the mountain before we climbed up to the top. They were kind of feeding down and maybe angling up a little bit, but that could have changed and they could come right down here or just kind of work on this ridge right above us even. Exactly. The fog is both our friend and our foe. As the sheep disappear into a thick blanket of fog, so do we. It is a risky move using it to conceal our presence in what otherwise would be plain sight. There is an unwavering determination that lives in the heart of the hunter that, despite the conditions, keeps pressing us forward. This is where they were this morning, 300 yards from where we're standing. Exactly. Uh, I think they're going to be close up in here. Hopefully they haven't went up into the back of the basin and over the saddle. We'll find out soon. But if they have, we have our camp on our back, so we'll just keep following sheep. Exactly.
conscious of your height. I don't get any higher than my back. So he's the last one. He's, he's the last one. The fourth one. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Got, Got him. him. He's sliding. Should I shoot again? No. No, just wait. You got your beauty down. Right on. The legacy found in the stories of the mountain hunter brought me here to this moment. For me, I have always dreamed of being a sheep hunter and yeah. to be in this moment right now is like, Fantastic. it's pretty unreal. This is awesome. What awesome. a beautiful day too. Oh. Beautiful ram. Oh man, he is fantastic. How old do you think he is? I think he's 12 or 13. See how close those rings are near the base? Yeah. Look at all these splits in his horn yeah. and yeah. all these years. I don't think he'd I don't think he'd have lived another year. No, he was living on borrowed time just as it was. It's unbelievable. All these neurals in there, he's splitting in the back. Mm-hmm. Roman nose from all the fighting over the years. What a treat to get to see him. Laying up in the sun, laying in the rain. We got to see him in, in the fog this morning, and uh, just such a such an honor to be on this trip. He's perfect. He is. It's amazing. He's still got his lamb tips. I just can't get over that he's still got his lamb tips at this age. Now we get to pack him off this mountain, and what a more beautiful place to to end it all right here. Absolutely. The land of the midnight sun was everything that I had dreamed of, and more. It changed me forever. For now, I am a sheep hunter. The legacy of a sheep hunter is now part of me. As the wind whispers across the landscapes of the McKinsey Mountains, it fuels the torch of desire in the heart of the hunter. For the birding is inside of us. And to the north, a sheep hunter always returns. <laughs> <laughs>